Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a power-up webinar entitled Apps and Plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. By the way, we have a new subscription membership service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut Pro 10 training and our Adobe training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the Internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any live webinar for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Red Giant has come back with another one called Magic Bullet Looks 2. This is a $400 plugin that offers over 100 professionally designed color and effects presets, but its real strength is in providing you extensive controls and effects in an easy to use interface that allows you to create your own custom color look settings. There's stuff we can do in Magic Bullet that we can't begin to do inside Final Cut Pro 10. Let me illustrate. For instance, here, this is a bleak midwinter. Let's go to Magic Bullet Looks. And this one, the presets are not located here. Go in and drop that on top. And there's our heroes. Select the clip. I could put in things like masks over here, but the real power is this window. When I click Edit, it opens up the Looks window. The Looks window loads the clip that I was just working with. Now, Magic Bullet has five different regions to which it applies effects. The subject, a matte box in front of the camera, the lens of the camera, think of that as a lens flare, the camera itself could be diffusion, post, special effects we would do in post. We could start to get really carried away with setting effects in these different five categories, but the best place to start is to go to the Looks category. And here, there are almost a dozen categories Let's just make this smaller here. The way you would change the size of this image is to scroll wheel up and down to change the size. Click on looks. Let's just add some cinematic looks. We could have a, a zombie look, a romance look, a Neo from Matrix look, a Miami warm look, which just does not work with snow. Uh, we could do Ohio in winter. <laughs> All right, you've talked me into that. Or... The names are always interesting, but we've got different looks, and all I'm doing is clicking on it one time. Or we have monochromatic looks, black and white with a crushed black, or warm isolation, or blue. That really says winter to me. We have classic music video looks, different things that can be applied to this clip. When we're done, you click Finished, and that look is now applied to the clip. We can then make vignette type modifications over here. Well, let's try something else. Let's uh, select our actress again. Select her. Drag magic bullet looks on. This time click the edit button. And let's go to looks and let's look at people. So let's scroll up and turn down people. We've got a Berlin smooth, a movie star look, a beauty shot, if that was any softer with diffusion, we wouldn't be able to see her face at all. But I like this. This is to smooth her skin, get rid of the, the wrinkles. An interview look. Look at the difference here. Look at that interview look, how we're really focusing in on her. This Cosmo feature I'm going to talk about in just a second. But we're adding a vignette, which is a hot spot right over her face, making the background go a little bit darker, cooling the background just a bit. When we're done, we say finished. Now when I select this clip, and let's see if I select the vignette. If I select the clip, let's go back to edit. Select the vignette. I can change the position of this vignette by moving. And notice how the hot spot is moving as I'm moving it off her face. I can change the size and the shape of the hot spot. I can also change by grabbing strength and increasing it or decreasing it, just click hold and drag. We can make the background really dark. Make her, okay, this is a midnight confessional reality show where we really want to get a sense of her isolated from the background. Or maybe we don't want to have it be quite so isolated. We just pop that back up again to make sure that we can see her, but you know, it doesn't have the same drama. 
We can control the blur, which is called the fall off. How much distance there is and between where it's in focus and where it's out of focus. There's cool stuff we can do here. Let's just click cancel. Let's go to this shot. Let's um, apply looks and click on edit. This was shot in the middle of an afternoon, but it would be nice because he's reflecting sort of on the, the wisdom of what he's learned so far in this crisis he's gone through. It's sort of like the resolution at the end of the movie. We sort of want to make it have a golden glow to it. Let's give it a sunset feel. So let's look for stylized. And let's see if we can find sunset. There we go. Just click it. Look at how we've been able to change that. If you want to see before, turn off tool chain, and you can compare one versus the other. And you could say, you know, as the sun set slowly in the west, I was reflecting on this. And you've got the, the name of the look. And these are all the different tools that you've worked with. Let me illustrate that in more detail. If we go back to her and... Um, Let's just take that off and let's reapply it. So I start with a clean slate. What I want to do is I want to take a look at the subject. I want to do a, oh, look at this. See how dark this side of her skin is? Let's say I want to do a spot fill. I'm going to just drop this in. I want to take the spot, drive it right over to there. And let's pull this in right about here. And now let's change the uh, the color. Let's just make this brighter. See how we can make it darker as we pull this down? Or we can make it lighter as we pull it up. We can play with the blurs and the focus. In other words, it's as though I could bring in a reflector right here and pull the light up on the side of her head. Or take this off and add a different tool. Let's say that I go to a matte box. I want to add diffusion and put some diffusion on her to make her soften. Look at how her skin gets softer by adding a diffusion filter. I could add a diffusion filter through a vignette and just soften her skin. Or I could add a lens I could add a flare. I could add a vignette. We can add contrast and grad filters, curve control, and in post, oh, the Cosmo effect. Let's go to that. Cosmo effect. What that does is it automatically builds in skin softening. This is the skin softener we've got with, with looks, which can soften skin but leave the hair detail alone and leave the, the background alone. There's just so much we can do to make our stuff look great. I can either work with the presets and looks or I can create my own custom effect. Very cool package. It's been around for a long time and does some amazing things, not just with close-ups but with overall look and feel of your entire project. For the complete version of this webinar, visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. On the left-hand side, click Power Up Webinars and look for webinar number 65. And thanks.